As welcome back to another Match Day vlog, this time at Reading away. We're at the Madstad, or better known as the Select Car Leeson Stadium nowadays. Obviously, last season here weren't great. Uh, the weather was pretty shocking. I mean, it's not much better today, at least it's not raining. And of course, uh, the result weren't great. It was 2-0, weren't it? And um, both clubs were in a bit of peril. Um, we were right in the relegation zone, so Reading, they had a points deduction. They've still had still ownership issues. Oh, yeah, lads. Well, on me! Still got ownership issues, obviously, Reading, unfortunately. Sorry to hear about it. Um, in terms of like, how we get on in our head-to-heads and stuff, it's quite a neck-and-neck -neck game. Uh, last 13 fixtures, I believe it's something like six wins to them, five to, five to us and two draws. Pretty neck-and-neck -neck game, usually a few goals in it. And that's it, really. So we'll do the usual. We'll talk to some people. We'll get inside. We'll record the game. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the vlog, guys. Take care. See you when I see you. Outside Select Harley's Stadium, I like to call it the Madstad. I'm with Rick Wilson. Rick Wilson. And Keith Jardine. Keith Jardine, nice to meet you, gents. Yes, you too. What's your story? How long have you been running fans for? What's the story? 20 odd years I have been, I've but Keith. Been, I've been um, watching Reading since 1964 when we were down at Elm Park before we came to here in about 2000. Yeah. So uh, I've seen a few ups and downs, mainly downs, but it's been good fun. Proper old school that is, that is, that is proper. School, I love yeah. to hear it, I love to hear it. Yeah. What would you say, I'm going to go and say it differently, what's your highlight as a Reading fan? What's like the most standout memory for you guys? Uh, probably the uh, promotion year, first time we were promoted ever, 2006, yeah. seven season. And also going to Wembley, winning against Luton in the Simod Cup in the 80s, that yeah. was uh, a win at Wembley. We've Our been, only win at Wembley. We've been to Wembley a yeah. few times in playoffs and not been successful, so it was nice to get some success. But we've had some good teams over the years, we played good football. Um, as Rick said, it's resulted in promotions, a couple of relegations of course along the way, but overall it's been a good journey. But that's the ups and downs of the sort of clubs we support. If you don't support one of the old big boys, then it's no, expected, no, isn't it? It swings and roundabouts. Support yeah. your local club, yeah. it's too easy to go off and support, support your local. city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we do. good stuff. Gents, I'm going to ask you to participate in a little game, all right? Oh, and obviously, my viewers know about it. It's uh, five rounds, five pounds. Obviously, if you get all five right, juice little fiver. Right. Cheeky little pint, maybe, I don't right. know. What, what yeah. you fancy yeah. say in the club yeah. shop? Yeah. If you lose, I've got a consolation prize right. as well in the old back pocket. Gotcha. So, on, okay. fire away. Right, we'll start off again. Joint effort, you're both yeah. shouting. Right, so we'll start off with one you just mentioned, actually. So, Redden hit a record amount of points in a promotion season in the championship. What season was it? Ooh. Um... 106 season. It'd have been um, 2005. Two, I think 2006-7. I'll give you the. I'll we'll go 2005. 2005 oh, six. Right, I, I want. Right. I want to get for the first one. Oh, right, <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. This might be a trick one actually. Then. So, what was the points total that year? 106. Spot on, he knows his stuff. This was 1964, a, no a surprise pint, here. We had a pint named after it. The local really? did a 106 pint. Yeah. They used to sell it, yeah. Right. Beautiful, love yeah. that. Still okay. got the record, just. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, yeah. It's still, it's, it's a, <laughs> still who's going to beat it? It's well, ridiculous. Well, Charlton this year, you never know. Keep your hopes no, I mean, up. That was a championship, though, weren't it? That's a, yeah, that's a yeah, different yeah, ball yeah, game, yeah, like championship. Was, I mean, we, nearly, we nearly lost it last year, but Leicester. Yeah, yeah Leicester, they bottled it, though. Threw it away, yeah, didn't they? Got At one point, they went on track for him. Yeah, just, but it's yeah. consistent. I mean, that was a fantastic team. Yeah. A team that had no superstars. They were all just playing for the shirt, and yeah. that was Steve Copples. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Top season, you lot. Top, top season, season. Yeah. yeah. Two yeah. two seasons in the champ uh, yeah. Premiership. Right. So question yeah. four. Sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. So who who is Reading's record appearance maker in league fixtures? I do allow one skip. I've always got six questions at the ready, so I allow one skip. If you want to use it now, go for it. Yeah, I'm not sure that one. So it's record I league appearances. That, uh, is that going to be Parkinson or Murty? Or is it an older one, Keith? Yeah, I, um, 
We go for a skip. Yeah, we go for a skip. On Keep it in locker. All right, no worries. So next one is, what is Reading's highest ever Premier League finish? Um, Eighth. Tenth. Eighth. Spot on. Right. Yeah. They missed so, out on Europe. Yeah, we know about that, Charles. We did the same. We did the same. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. yeah. Broke my yeah. heart as a kid. Actually, yeah. literally broke my heart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so good, good, good little joint effort. So you got in, pulled in before you pulled in. This is good yeah. stuff. All right, sorry. Uh, Reading received a club record fee of eight million pounds. Who was it for? Elise. Correct. Spot on. Right, this is it. This is. We always get it to the last the one. Future. Is it going to happen? I hope so. I want to watch some. Here we go. Reading suffered. I couldn't believe this today, by the way. Reading suffered a club record defeat in the FA Cup in 1894 of 18 nil. Who was it against? Don't tell me it was Charlton. No, it wasn't Charlton, no, no, it wasn't Charlton. 1984? No, sorry, no. Uh, 1894. 18, That's okay. Even before your time, um, Keith. Woolies Arsenal. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say. It would uh, have been the Southern League then. I'm going to say, I don't know, QPR. I'm going to say very different for once. I'm going to give them a really good hint because I do want someone to win. These are nice gents. So <laughs> it's sort of like a, a Lancashire team. Right. That sort of play, that sort of science Preston, of the world. Accrington Stanley. What was it? North End. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Ding ding ding! We got a winner. Finally, five pounds. There we go. Juicy, juicy, Yo, juicy. We yeah. come in for it. Perfect. I mean, I, I, what was eighteen nil? Eighteen nil. <laughs> yeah, eighteen nil. I thought you were going to ask about some of the when we lost to Arsenal in the uh, Premiership. Uh, we had a cup game that was seven four, and we were leading four nil at half time. Four one at half time. Yeah. And then Arsenal came back and beat us seven four. Yeah, I remember that. Great game. Um, yeah, great game. That seven four against Tottenham. Yeah. And there was a Portsmouth one as well that was crazy. That was all in the second season. Yeah. But yeah. What was, who was the, who yeah, was the all time um, was it appearance? Was it a few I, think, I think it was Mar yeah. Martin Hicks, I think it was. Yeah. I wrote it down. Yeah. I was, I was thinking, Martin Hicks, I was, yeah. I was, I was trying to think of that point. If it yeah. Been, you know, Martin Hicks played a lot that of That would have been, what, 700, something like that? I thought Parkinson yeah, that, that had done a been number. That would have the 70s. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, you see, yeah, but Hicks. In those days, you, you had players stay yeah. around a bit longer yeah. than they Not do like today. Not like now. Yeah, it's ridiculous now. No. Yeah. yeah. No. So, um, Even less than managers. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah. Are. So, prediction for today's score then. What do you reckon? No, I'll get an interview. Brilliant. You have the <laughs> yeah. mic. Go on. go on then. Yeah, I reckon it'll be a. Uh... I'm quite pessimistic as a Charlton fan, but I'll go 2 0. Yeah. And, and who's yeah. their danger man today? Who's going to be our danger on the man? Sheet? This is my question. He's got my script. Yeah, as he's like. <laughs> Uh, Danger Man, I'd like to put a gas and a had me, I fancy today. Right, Fred fancy right, as well. Right. And, I, and I'll say, I'll go Matt Godden. Right, go. okay. That's well, it. if we see you afterwards, you can have your fiver back. Yeah. No, 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 no. Gents, it's been a pleasure, honestly. It's been an absolute pleasure. Right, there you go. Stuff. There you go. Have a good it season. is a souvenir. I don't know who wants it. It's a little red and key ring. Okay. Get and there's, there's the, the bluey. There's the, the, the fiver. You keep the fiver. What's your name? Charlie. My name's Charlie. I'll show him YouTube. Guys, again, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. You don't win today. Uh, Bray. Well, sorry, Bray. Uh, Bray, yeah. Bray Hayden, mate. Phoenix. Phoenix. Uh, Monty. Monty. Just make it Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. Good name. Thank you. Very good name. Right. What do you reckon, say, lads? Uh, 2 1, Charlton. 2 1? 3 0. 3 0, confident? Yeah. Yeah. 3 1, <laughs> Charlton. 3 1, reckon. Concede, yeah. How did you get up here today? Uh, car. Yeah. Car? That, that drove yeah. us back yeah. now. That's not bad, is it? Save yeah. some money. Save some money. Not too shabby. And then in terms of like the season so far, obviously. It's gone as good as it can go, can't it? Three clean sheets in a row, three wins. Yeah. What do you make of the team? Who's your favourite player? Oh, favourite player, man, I wouldn't have a clue. Um, three games in, it's hard. Sort of, yeah, don't hard really know. Up, yeah. Um, but team performances, isn't it? So it's like hard to, no one's really stood out, have they, yeah. entirely? What's all three games and at the middle of the second floor, there's going to concede a goal, can't go wrong with it. Yeah. Um, Yourself? Uh, yeah, I mean, the same really. A <laughs> couple, couple yeah. new signings, which would be alright. You see so. brothers, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah you look very alike. Brothers, mate. Yeah. Brothers, mate, yeah. Good looking chap, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, same. mine's just the same, mate. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. He's yeah. just, he's not a Charlton fan, he's if. No, he's if. Who's your thought? Who's your thought? Uh, yeah. uh, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't know look, that. God, look, let's fucking look, look. Dinner, we'll, we'll get him. I have to say, we'll get him. If Charlton do this. Right, if Charlton win, let's say 4 0. Charlton fan? Uh, yeah, you'll buy a shirt if we go. There you go. Yeah, of course. The club, you owe me money, so I keep converting people. Every week I'm converting people here. Yeah, I just, just thought we'd leave it there. Right, so we said predictions. What else do we go with? Uh, where we finish this season? Uh, I reckon top 10. Top 10? Oh, that's pathetic. Jesus, top, top, top 7, mate. mate. Top seven. Definitely, you know, oh, I, my. I don't see us being anything outside the top 4. 
I'm being yeah, honest. I, I said top six. I, I'd agree I with that. Definitely, definitely playoffs. Yeah. Definitely playoffs. Automatics push, but def definitely playoffs. Like it. Confident. Like it. What's going on top mid table? Uh, Come on. He's, he's Come on. New Charlton fan, what do you reckon? <laughs> uh, third. Good man, good man. Nice to meet you, lads. <laughs> Take care. All the best, all the best, all the best. Nice to meet you. All right, three more Charlton chaps. You all right, yeah, good. Yeah, what's your name, mate? Scott. Scott, how you doing, Scott? George. George, yeah. And Camille. Camille. Right, lads, how'd you get here today? By train. Well, train. train, yeah, yeah. same one. Yeah, train together. Yeah. yeah. You regulars, you go to games together all the time, yeah? Oh, I met him today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool, we like it. Just met him today? Yeah, yeah. God, blimey. That's nice. And then, um, in terms of, like, just the game today, what do you reckon? Scores? 3-1. I got 2-1, Charlton. 2-1? I got 2-0, Charlton. 2-0. Clean sheet? Good man, good man. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about the clean sheet, but <laughs> good man predicting it. <laughs> and then, um, what would you make of the scenes so far? Good, yeah, good, good start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah very right. good start. Yeah, it couldn't be better, really, to be fair. Yeah, we're, nah, we're nah. not more enthusiastic. Yeah, three for three, three clean sheets. Lovely stuff. Yeah, yeah. I did ask the fans earlier who do you think the standout player is, and they sort of couldn't quite figure someone out. And I'm sort of the same, because obviously it's been a bit of a team effort. Yeah, yeah. But who would you say, if you had to go for it, who would you say so far has impressed you? I don't know, because last season it weren't really great. Now, obviously, the whole season's changed and the, and the teams are changed. I'm not, we'll, we'll see how we get on, I think, to be fair. I'm not, I'm not really rating anyone at the moment until we'll see how we get on through the season, really. Yeah, it's yeah. early doors, isn't it, to do yeah. the business? I think what the person that goes unnoticed is probably Con Connor Coventry. It just sticks us together in the middle, I think, it's quality. Yeah. Uh, they're all playing well, though. Coventry's great. What I'd say is I don't notice him, which might be a good thing sometimes. If you're a midfielder, you don't get noticed. Was like that at the start. Yeah, there you go. And then he come out, so yeah. Quite right. And I would say actually Chuck's an EK. He doesn't play a lot, but when he comes on, he's just, he's unbelievable. Based. Yeah, he's just, he's got two assists in the last two games. Uh, everyone else is playing really good in defence, but when he comes on, he's just a legend, really. Top lads, top lads. And predictions for the season, what do you reckon? Oh, I don't know. It's going to be hard, isn't it? First. Good. Second. Second. Fourth, winning playoffs. Yeah, yeah I was going to say fourth or fifth as well, yeah. Good stuff, lads. Nice to meet you. And you mate. Cheers. Brilliant. Yeah, mate. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. All right, guys. Apologies, but that does conclude the vlog. This is no longer Saturday match day. It's Sunday at about 7 o'clock, I think it is. Um, the reason for doing this is because, essentially, um, I had a few issues at the game. So, first of all, I was front row, and the angle isn't very good for recording. And... Also, if I'm comfortable recording, like being front row, um, you know, you've got everyone behind you, so it's like, I don't really like to get people in my shot, typically speaking, unless they want to. And the people behind me, to be fair to them, they did say uh, they watched the vlog, some of them, and enjoy them, but I think two of them said they weren't comfortable with being on the, um, the video. And I'm never going to be someone who obviously goes against that, because at the end of the day, it's a hobby, so... If people are uncomfortable around me, um, not on camera, I'm going to adhere to that because I think it's about the fourth time that's happened and every time I've obviously done it. So that's why there's not a lot of selfie footage. Well, none actually. And as for the game footage, the um, the quality was just too shocking. And yeah, that's all we're going to really close the video. So like I said, um, no game footage because the angle was crap. And I didn't talk to someone on camera too much because I didn't want to get people behind me in the shot who weren't comfortable with it. Um, in hindsight, I could have obviously blurred it out, but hindsight's one of the thing. I didn't really think at that time. And again, it weren't much of a game to comment on anyway, so no loss there. And uh, yeah, I feel like I had to upload because I didn't want not to upload because I don't like missing a game. And on top of that, the two Reading fans I spoke to, Keith and Rick, they obviously one to five for five, which I really want to get on there. And obviously all the Charlton fans I spoke to, I didn't want to take their time out of their day to speak to me and not put it as part of my, you know, YouTube venture or whatever. So I thought that would be unfair on them. And yeah, that, that's that. So I thought, get all that on. I was quite happy with that. So yeah, it was, it was a good start. Quite liked speaking to uh, the fans I spoke to, but obviously the result, not much. Um, has a little post-match review of the game. I guess I can say, yeah, we were just we were just shit. Same is that same form as last season. Um, it was a big game because obviously, you know, Red in LA in a bit of trouble at the moment, aren't they? Uh, didn't buy any new players, uh, got financial issues and whatnot. And I thought the players off the park, to be honest. I thought, I mean, the stats don't look like 
there was much in it. But if you were there, I can assure you, it was a um, fairly one-sided game. I thought they'd done us up in midfield. I thought it looked comfortable at the back. Um, I thought our forwards looked awful. It looked like we wouldn't score. Play a game for another 90 minutes, don't think we'd have scored, to be honest. Um, I think we're lacking some real quality. But again, I'll address that in a different video. This was just to round off why it was such a shoddy vlog. So, fair play to Reading as well, because for a team that's so, you know, um, got such a bad like situation at the moment, to put out such a competent team and get a result is like fair play. Um, so that's it. I'll rather I'm at home, if you don't get cancelled, I'll obviously be there. Hope to be a better vlog, because I quite enjoyed making the Bolton one. This one's obviously just crap, but it is what it is. See it in the next one. Um, by the time it's uploaded, the sun will be over probably. So enjoy the rest of your week. Take care, guys.